In this episode, we are going to learn about the attribute bindings in Vue. So let's open the Sublime and create a new file inside new folder. So index.html and let's copy everything from last episode and paste it here and delete everything except this thing and here everything okay so let's suppose i have a h3 tag okay and inside h3 tag i have a text called speed of light okay so speed of light but i want to give this h3 a class of success so class and alert alert success so let's see how it's look like so open this file inside chrome so right click chrome and now we have to go to this folder because it i am using hash so it's creating problems so open this file and yes we have a speed of light now open console and we can see any error that means it is okay so we are not using any kind of view here so let's suppose i want to give this class via view so let's just cut this out from here and now i will do v dash bind colon and the attribute name here i'm connecting the class and then the data name or the method name so let's give the data name so i will give class name this kind of things we have done on the first episode but in this episode we are going deep inside these things so let's define here data which says class name so class name is having value of this let's go here refresh the page and yeah we have some kind of error because of the semicolon here we don't need semicolon here go refresh and yes we are having the green color because of the alert success and and if we inspect this element we have this alert alert success class attached to this thing but what i want i want to give this class with some controlling so let's suppose i want to give this class when is active so is active is a variable which having some kind of value so if is active is true then we are going to give this class otherwise it's not going to give this class so let's define it here so i will say is active and firstly define it as a false go here refresh the page and yes it's not here but let's define it as a true so when i hit refresh yeah we can see we have class name but not this one the exact same thing same thing is echo out this is because and now we can't use the data name here so we have to provide the whole thing here and now when i go here refresh this and now we have some kind of error so it says alert alert success is active okay that's because of this thing we can use this thing now go here refresh the page and now we have that thing that was not successful because before i have used two words alert and alert success and that's giving the error but now i have used these thing inside a code so view treating these whole two words as a single string that's why it's working now okay we can even give another kind of class let's suppose i want to give a class of call lg uh, let's say six only but this only when 
is min so let's go here and define is min so it minimizes that column so i will firstly say false so false here and go back refresh the page and yes we have this success but we don't have that call ld6 so now let's define it and make it true refresh this page and you can see it's now short end and we have this class of call ld6 that's another important thing that we can use this whole thing is in inline and you can keep adding multiple things so let's do another thing so if, if we have this thing on h4 and which says speed of sound and now i want to give it a style and style is color is red and next thing i want to give um, border is equal to two pixel solid black and let's see refresh this page and yes speed of sound and these two things so let's just move this up and give here br tag so that we can see these things easily yes so now sound speed of sound having color having border this but color of red is not here why let's see because color has spelling of c o l o r okay so now these things are here but i want to show these things with view so how i will do that thing so let's go here and instead of this let's say i am defining a style section and a style section are including these things like i will cut it from here paste it here and here it is it having color border and now a style section section go here refresh the page and there is some error semicolon is not required so let's overcome this problem and i have to use comma here and instead of this thing i can move these things inside semicolon not the first one so here delete this give here comma and now we have to attach this section with styles so i have given here a style section which is this but now i want to say we bind but instead of doing this thing every time we bind we bind there's a shorthand called simple colon so i will delete from here also if we use simple colon this means we bind the same thing so that's very nice looking and let's go here refresh the page and yes we can see we have no error and we have these things that means the border and the color is red so you can see we are attaching any kind of attribute to any kind of html tag so let's give here title of oh, not like this binding the title with title so give title here title is having value of this is the best title in the world really <laughs> okay so go here refresh the page and yes we can see we have this thing so let's hover over this and yes we are getting the title of h4 tag so these are the things we can do with the bindings that means attribute binding there is one more thing that you can use which is like this if we have h3 tag and which says speed of light is turn speed of light is sound and uh, speed of universe ah very nice okay so a speed of universe and now i'm going to connect the class but this time again i'm going to do same thing that means success and alert but i want 
firstly check is active if is active having value of true then it's just like shorthand of if else on php so here if it is true then alert alert success and otherwise alert alert danger so we have is active true let's go here refresh the page and we have some kind of error here i have to use this square brackets instead of this curly brackets so now go and refresh and yes we can see we have this thing so again if i give a br tag then it will move down so let's move this thing here and now give br tag for this br tag for this go here refresh the page yes so speed of universe is here with green color but now if i give is active as false refresh and we can see we don't have any kind of class with this speed of light but speed of universe is now getting alert danger and remember this shorthand it's very useful and i'm sure you are always going to use this thing so these are the things you can do with the attribute bindings and we will meet in the next episode with conditional bindings so stay tuned for the next episode which is coming very soon and i'm sure you are doing awesome with this view series and the blog level blog series is coming very soon so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like with fumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then keep coding be happy and goodbye